Good morning. Your time is precious. So today, here are 10 easy tricks that will save you lots of time when you're working with the WordPress Gutenberg block editor. Right, at number 10 is to turn off the pre-published checklist. Normally, when you go and publish a page or post in the block editor, you click publish and then it says, are you sure you really want to publish it? Which can get slightly irritating if you are sure. You can turn that off though. Just click on the three dots next to the cog up here and then go down here to preferences and then it's this first option where it says publishing. Just untoggle the include pre-published checklist option and close it. And now when you go and publish, it will publish like it used to do in the old days. Number nine is drag and drop photos from your desktop directly into the page. Here we go, this is how you do it. You just drag it in there. I'm putting this into a column, drop it in, and it automatically adds it to the page, which is really cool. You can also replace photos in the same way. I'm gonna drag another one to replace the existing one. You can just drag it over the top and it replaces it. Number eight is duplication. A great example of where this is useful is when you're designing service boxes in columns. So rather than having to recreate this each time, all I'm gonna do is select the column block using the list view. I'm gonna duplicate it twice, and then I'm gonna delete the third and fourth column, which it added automatically. Then I would just go in and edit the text and the buttons within each column. Number seven is to use keyboard shortcuts. I put them on the screen if you wanna freeze the video at this point, but I'll also put them in the description for you. There's two of my favorites on here, the top two, and that is to switch between the visual and the code editor, which is a bit complicated, but it's shift, option, command, and M. That just takes you to the code editor like this. So you can actually see what WordPress is producing under the bonnet. And the next one is to open the block navigation menu, which again is one of my favorite ones. And that one is option control and O. Oh. Number six is the quickest way to embed videos from YouTube. Just go to the video you want to embed on YouTube, copy the address at the top. Once you've copied it, go back to your page, literally just paste that link in and the video automatically drops into your page. Do you find you have to do multiple clicks to actually get back to the dashboard? Well, there's a simple solution and it is just turn off the full screen mode. To do that, just go to the three dots in the top right and you'll see an option here, full screen mode. Just turn that back on and your lovely old WordPress menus will appear over on the left. So now you can go to other parts of your site within one click. Number four is dynamically injecting blocks throughout multiple posts. This is an example using our block injector plugin, but also Cadence Pro. Bloxy Pro and also Astro Pro also have similar functionality built into their themes. In this example, we're creating a promo. And over on the right, I've specified that this promo should appear in all posts after four blocks. So if I go to any of my posts now in my blog, we should see that automatically that piece of content has dropped into that post, but it's not actually in the post. If I go to the edit post screen, you'll see it doesn't exist in there. It's being pulled in dynamically through the block injector plugin. Let me just show you one more post to show you I'm not cheating. Here it is, you'll see after four blocks, there it is. If I make a change to it here, so let's just change the background image. So I've got a new image. Now when I go back to any of those posts, so this can work on a thousand posts if you wanted it to, any of those posts, you'll see that that new image has now been pulled in with the same information's within it. Number three is delete multiple blocks using the list view. At the moment, this only works if you're using the latest version of the Gutenberg plugin. This will be rolled into core soon. Just click on the list view. I have a post here with loads of content, but I want to delete all of it actually. So I'm just going to multi-select. I'm going to click on this top block here, and then I'm going to click, hold down shift and click on the bottom one. It multi-selects them. Then just click on the three little dots and just click on remove dots and bingo, they've all gone. And number two is to reuse your layouts. Now there's actually four different ways you can approach this. I'm going to show you all four. We'll start with this one, which is to copy all the content so I've got this layout here I've created and I want to create another page using basically the same layout. And all I'm going to do is click on the three dots at the top here and go down here and click copy all content. Now all I have to do is go to my new page. Let's create a new page. And all I have to do is hit paste. So command V or control V and boom, there you go. There's your new content or your new layout perfectly aligned to how you just designed it. The next way is similar, but probably more useful if you just want to pick out certain sections in your pages, and that is to go to the code view. So you could use the shortcut that I showed you earlier, but all we're going to do is go to the code view. So click on the three dots, then click on the code editor, then it shows you all the code. Now you could just pick out a few elements in here, but because I want everything on this page, I'm going to go command A and then command C to copy it. And now I've got that copied, I can go to my new page just like I did before and it will still be in code view, so I'm just gonna chuck that in, and then I'll just click on Exit Code Editor in the top right. 
The next option is really cool and you can save them as reusable blocks. And what that means, I can select all the blocks on this page, save them to a library and then reuse them anywhere within my site. So I can use the multi-select tool for this like I did before, just select both the blocks, then click on your toolbar, these three little three dots and go to add to reusable blocks. Then you're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it my, let's call it my new page layout. Now you can use that layout essentially anywhere within your site on any pages. So if I go to a new page now, let me just show you how you actually implement this. Go to a new page, then you click on the block inserted icon up here, then go to the reusable tab, then your new layout will be here. Click on that and it brings it in automatically. And the final way is to use a plugin like Blockmeister, which I'll put a link to in the description below. They have a free version available on wordpress.org. They also have a pro version where you can import and export patterns, which I'll probably cover in a bit more detail. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below, by the way. Think of block patterns a bit like supercharged reusable blocks, I guess. Uh, so with this plugin, it adds a new menu over here called block patterns. You can create your patterns, your layouts essentially. So these can be as you know as big and extensive as you like. What's cute about this though, over on the right here, you can actually describe what this is and th I'll show you where this actually shows up. So you can create your patterns over here and then you bring them into your pages. So it's like a more organized way really of creating reusable blocks. But the nice thing about this plugin is it lets you import and export them. In the pro version, I think I need to dig into that in more detail. So I click on the block inserter and I go to patterns this time. These are the block patterns and you see there's Jamie there. So, and there's the one I just created. Like, And at number one is the forward slash trick. So every time you're on a page and you wanna add a block, you can either click on the block inserter. If you want a quicker way, you just click into the page and click forward slash and then you type the name of the block that you want to add. It will find it, just hit return and it will add that block for you. Let me show you again. Hit forward slash, the name of the block, so I'm typing image. It'll find that block and just hit return and then it'll add that block into the page. And here's a bonus one for you. This is not a WordPress one, but I use it every single day a lot. This is a shortcut to emojis. Credit for this one goes to James Kemp over at Iconic WP. And all you do, this is Mac. I don't know how it works on a PC. I'm sorry, PC users. You hold down Control Command and then hit space and this little emoji thing comes up here and then you can just insert your emojis. So it's absolutely fantastic for Twitter or for other social media or if you want to insert emojis within your websites. I hope you found those time-saving tips useful. If you did, if you can hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it really, really, really helps spread the word of the channel. Also, as you probably know by now, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <coughs>